GoPro and Gear the War. So, to start this video off, I will become like giving tips of what you should do to become in gear, like a professional player in Gear the War. So, first, what you want to do is study gameplay. Studying is like a very good thing because, like, whether and this could like go to a lot of things like going to school or anything, if you want to be good at something, you have to learn about it. You know what I mean? You got to be open to learning. Um, studying gameplay can help you learn certain rotations, certain posi like certain positions on the map, certain setups, like everything that can help you become like a better player and more knowledgeable of the game is what you can learn by studying gameplay. Because most of the time, like amateurs and pros, the pros usually know what's going on and they know more about the game than the amateur. That's why they're at that state. So what you should do is like go watch streams on Twitch, such as like from the professional players, such as like Explosive being off the gaming very very like good leader and stuff you can learn a lot from him um watch watch other players like demo shock you know watch different teams as well because some teams do different things and you might want to you might like like what those some team is doing you might be able to copy and paste that to your own gameplay and utilize it yourself and make it to your own play style sort of um that's a very good thing to do also when it comes to studying gameplay don't only watch other people's film watch your own as well so if I was you guys, what I would do is I would uh, record my gameplay or stream to Twitch and the Arch of Your Past broadcast so you can watch over that film with your teammates and that can help you guys a lot because you'll see what you did wrong like because sometimes you usually notice more in film than you do while playing the game because some, like film like it uncovers some things like like you might have think thought that you like made a mistake here when, when really it was the right play and you just like you don't need to have to fall for it because you want to move to the next round, keep everything positive and stuff. And you're able to watch back with the team be like like nah dude, I told you like, you know, this guy was here, there's three dead, we should have made this rotation, da da da. Uh, that can help you guys a lot because film really just highlights mistakes, like there's nothing else really to it. It highlights mistakes and those those highlight mistakes can help you become a better team because you're more, now more knowledgeable and know what to do in that situation. Um, next, what you guys need to do is learn how to take criticism and be a responsible, like, be the best teammate you can be. Like, all three of those things can just fit together in one tiny box because being, being a better teammate means learning how to take criticism. It means, you know what I mean, taking responsibility. So, what you want to do is, like, learn when, to, when you're at fault. Don't always argue back everything. If you're going to argue back, do it in a respectful manner where it doesn't start any other problems because that's only going to bring a, a extremely negative, toxic vibe to your team and that's only going to make you guys underperform. Um, when you're learning to take criticism, it, it's all about like like how, you, how your head is on. Like You can't have an extreme attitude. Nobody wants to play with somebody that has an attitude like that unless you have the, the skill of a god and usually it's not that case. You know what I mean? That's a very rare case. That, that somebody is extremely talented to the point where like them bringing the toxic vibe to the team people just don't care about it that much because they're so talented um so yeah even when you are talented it's still better to to keep a, um to not be like to not to learn how to take criticism because if you're already good why not get even better you know what i mean like why, why close yourself down and, and stop being open to learning like when you're already great you know what i mean you come to be like better than great you know what I mean? you come the best at that point so just keep on, make sure you guys stay open to learning, take responsibility, you know what I mean, listen to, uh, to criticism, all of that. So um, once again, this can this next step can go back to tying with uh, watching film and watching your own film because it is practicing and highlighting mistakes. Practicing, like the, usually it's the most dedicated that has the most quality, like practice wins. Um, always take your practice practice as quality over quantity so like scrimming against those top teams when you have the chance to scrim against people that's better than you learn from your losses don't always play for a win because a win in the scrim really does not mean anything like it's literally your learning experience every single time no matter how you put it a scrimmage is literally like that's that's what it's for a scrimmage is a scrimmage like <laughs> there's other way to say it so make sure you guys take that as a good thing make sure you practice like be dedicated that also has to do with taking responsibility like you know what i mean dedicate yourself don't waste your other teammates time 
make your teammates become better themselves, you know. Um, the next thing you guys need to learn is callouts, communication. So callouts is very good because saying somebody is right there isn't, that's, that's not enough. It simply just not enough. Like, luckily, Gears of War does sometimes have, um, it has the spotting system where it does help you sometimes where you don't have to really, like, make that call out other than saying, like, you know what I mean, like, shoot this guy or something. But calling out really can help when, like, wanting to rotate or having somebody, like, like secret, like, hiding in some spot or something. Calls are just a very amazing thing to have, uh, and, and be knowledgeable of is, is one of the fundamentals and basics of becoming a Gears of War professional or just a competitor at all. Hold on. Alright, so, um, this one you guys not might, might not like that much because you have to actually invest some money into it. Um, if I was you guys, this is what I did myself, try to get like a 1MS monitor, uh, a decent controller that you can, um, that's like, you know, it was, it's, it's of good quality so you don't have to worry about it breaking. So I have a stuff right here. This is a rise stuff. And yeah, I don't really put, really put paddles on it or anything, but it's just a very nice quality controller that feels well and stuff, has grips on the back. So yeah, you guys should like invest in something um that can help you guys you know become better and like because a one of us monitor you usually see people before they see you so you playing on like a, a 30 inch tv or something is, is extreme like a downfall because the frame rate difference it hurts like all that it's a lot of things that tie into it like you might not see somebody before they see you and stuff you might have a, a, a small delay in your screen like so you adjusting your controller to that that screen delay is, is different like if i was to play on a 30 inch tv on gears of War, I, would, I would be so bad because i'm so used to playing on like that I have like the high quality one that I, one mass monitor that I have. I have one right here when I was there. Um, you only need one that's uh, 60 hertz. So if I was you guys, I would buy one of those instantly. Uh, I prefer an Asus, but you can get BenQs as well. So yeah, make sure you guys try to get that Astros as well, so you can be able to hear people across the map and stuff, or when somebody's sneaking up on you and everything. Um, next, which is like one of the, it's another like good thing to have. It's just being a respectful person, like, reputation comes in with a lot. It comes in a lot into play when forming a team because uh, having a, a, a bad reputation can actually hurt you in the long run because sometimes um, people won't want to play with you because, you know what I mean, they know you as as from your past. Like, that that's what people think of. You, you get more known off of your past than, like, what you're doing at the moment. It's, it's annoying, but it's hard to clean up things, so just don't start things in, like, in general because that can only hurt you in the, in the future like another example from in my opinion or just like a history little example right here is like uh there's sometimes players that do not get a, a sponsor or organization that they want like due to their their like them not being professional on social media such as like twitter which is what everybody uses to find scrims and all that stuff so yeah make sure you make a twitter account that's another good thing to uh, to do so yeah, just just be professional, guys. Be nice. Be respectful. Um, it, it can also help you get noticed. Like just socialize. You know what I mean? Like be like comment, give people a heads up. Get, like give credit when it's due. All of that. Very good. Um, last is let's try to get noticed. Um, sometimes becoming a professional is about who who you know. Like when uh we're probably like joining teams, it's more so about who you know than than how good you are. Which is not that it's not always like the the best way to think of it, but it's the easiest way to say it um so getting noticed it, it's it's not that hard guys it, it sometimes is that hard like when you're really coming from nothing but if you know people that can help you like with networking and stuff so it's uh what i would say is to, in order to get noticed make sure you just start traveling um meeting new people come to these land events go to the local events you know what i mean compete in the online tournaments do well you, if you if you perform anything people will notice you and they will give that credit a lot of these professionals will give you credit when it's due so yeah come out there come out there and like go compete um see where you're standing at like you know what i mean what your ranking is at, at at the time and only just just go up the ladder from there so that's basically it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and take some of these tips that i gave you and put them to use and implement them and i will see you guys later Vexy's out